Disclaimer. The subject matter has been produced using AI technology and can in no way be employed as fact. The AI works on articles and blogs, so may only be deemed as what others believe, not necessarily the editor of this video. This video is in no way intended as fact or intended to cause undue stress, only for entertainment value. The disclaimer is produced by Tony of Tony's Music. Thank you. You've had that big clean out. You got rid of all the clutter and now you want to get your home ready for summer. It's time to start thinking about spring cleaning, but where do you begin? Start by deciding what you need to do. If you're planning to redecorate, you'll have to make sure you have the right supplies. A good place to start is your home improvement store. They have a wide selection of paint. Wallpaper, linens, rugs, and accessories. If you're just starting out on a new project, you'll need to take into account what type of work you're doing. Do you have a lot of heavy furniture or appliances? Do you have a lot of rugs? These are things you'll want to take into consideration when making your plan. After you've decided what you need to do, you'll need to decide how you want to do it. You can do this yourself or hire a professional. The advantage to hiring a professional is they'll be able to help you with the planning. Organizing and cleaning. They'll also be able to help you get everything organized before you start so you don't have to worry about being too busy to get started. The next thing you'll need to think about is what you want to keep and what you want to get rid of. This will depend on what you're doing. If you're redecorating, you'll want to get rid of all the old stuff and replace it with new. If you're just starting out, you'll want to focus on getting rid of the old and adding the new. Once you've figured out what you need to do, it's time to start shopping. There are a lot of great deals out there right now. So you'll want to look for them. You can find bargains at garage sales, thrift stores and even at yard sales. Look around your neighborhood for places to find good deals. When you're done shopping, you'll need to organize your purchases. This is important because you'll want to know where everything is going to go. You can use boxes, bins, baskets and shelves to organize your items. You may want to put some things away temporarily until you have more room in your home. Once you've gotten everything organized, it's time to start working. Get all the boxes, bins, and other containers out of the way. Put everything you want to keep in one place and everything you want to get rid of in another. This will make it easier for you to decide which items to keep and which to get rid of. Once you've made your decision, it's time to start cleaning. Take everything out of the boxes and put it on the floor. You can then start working on the area you want to clean. For example, if you want to clean the living room. You'll want to start by taking everything off the shelves and putting it on the floor. Once you've done that, you can start working on the walls and ceiling. Once you've finished cleaning. You'll want to give everything a good dusting. This will help you see any dust that was missed. After you've finished dusting, you'll want to vacuum up any dirt. This will help you see anything that wasn't cleaned up. Once you're done cleaning, you'll want to put everything back where it belongs. This will help you keep your house neat and tidy. 
don't forget to wash the windows and the curtains. This will help keep your home looking nice.